Hello, friends. We have a short message from our sponsor, Indeed. No one has a business like yours with all its strengths and challenges. To succeed, you need a hiring partner that adapts to your needs. You need Indeed. Indeed is a hiring platform where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. So instead of spending hours on multiple job sites searching for candidates with the right skills, use Indeed. Find great talent faster through time-saving tools like Indeed Instant Match, assessments, and virtual interviews. With Instant Match, over 80% of employers get quality candidates whose resume on Indeed matches their job description the moment they sponsor a job. One of the things people love about Indeed is just how easy Indeed makes it to start hiring. Start hiring now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at indeed.com slash sleep tight. Offer good for a limited time. Claim your $75 credit now at indeed.com slash sleep tight. Indeed.com slash sleep tight. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Hello, friends, and welcome to Sleep Tight Stories. I'd like to say hello to Oliver, Kai, and Violet in Chapel Hill. Hello to Gab Freyas, who is eight years old, living in Manila in the Philippines. And hello to Bridger from Camden, Maine. I'd like to say a happy belated birthday to Julia, who celebrated her birthday on June 9th, and her sister Gianna, who celebrated her birthday on June 17th. A happy belated birthday to Piper from Poplar Grove, who turned seven on June 13th. Happy belated birthday to Josiah, who celebrated his birthday March 4th, and to Holland, who turned six on June 17th. A happy belated birthday to Gehrig and Nolan from Connecticut, who celebrated their birthday June 17th. Happy birthday to Ainsley, who is celebrating a birthday on June 21st. Happy birthday to Ruby, who will be four on June 22nd. Happy birthday to Owen, who will be turning three on June 25th. And happy birthday to Ruby, who is turning nine on June 25th. Happy birthday to you all. I hope you have a wonderful day. Shoutouts and birthday wishes are one way we give thanks to our supporters. If you would like to support us and receive more bedtime entertainment like this, all ad-free, please visit our support page at sleeptightstories.org support. Thank you. We would like to thank Gianna, Johnny, and Julia from Chester, New Jersey, for their idea that led to the creation of this story. This is a story about a dog named Wilfred. Wilfred is a handsome French bulldog. One day when he is outside with Gianna being trained, he finds something stinky on the ground and, being a dog, rolls in it. When it is time to go back inside, Gianna knows Wilfred will need a bath, but Wilfred runs and hides. Will Gianna be able to get Wilfred clean? Wilfred the Stinky Dog It was a beautiful sunny day, and there were white fluffy clouds in the clear blue sky. Wilfred, a handsome French bulldog, was outside with one of its owners, Gianna, being trained. Though, of course, Wilfred didn't realize this was training, just that for some reason he didn't understand, Gianna would give him treats whenever he would do something that he wanted to do. 
They were in their backyard as they often were this time of day. Wilfred loved the backyard because it had many hiding places, interesting smells, and so many things to discover. To a dog his size, it seemed like the biggest yard in the world. Gianna loved spending time in their backyard too, but though Wilfred and her were already the best friends in the whole wide world, she was getting a bit frustrated. Her mom told her before they brought home Wilfred that having a puppy in the house was a big responsibility and that they needed not just lots of love, but also exercise and some training. Gianna's mom emphasized training most of all because she said she didn't want to have messes all over her clean floors. Her mom liked the house smelling nice and looking sparkling clean. Gianna held the dog treat between her fingers. Wilfred stared at it and licked his lips and cried in excitement. Dogs always seem like they are starving. Gianna decided to try teaching him this particular trick one more time. Sit, she said, using her most confident voice. Wilfred just stared. His eyes moved from the treat to her face and back again. He did not sit. Sit, Wilfred, sit, she said again. Wilfred moved this time. He laid down on his back, but he did not sit. Oh, Wilfred, Gianna said with a deep sigh. Why can't you just understand what I am saying? It would make this part of the training so much easier. Here, you may as well have the treat, she said, as he gently took the treat from her fingers and left a pile of drool behind. Yuck, Gianna said. Wilfred was trained, at least in the ways that were most important to Gianna's mother. He would walk with them on a leash and do his business outside where he was supposed to. But he would not do tricks, no matter how hard she tried to teach him. I guess we could play ball for a while, Gianna said out loud. Wilfred knew the word ball and barked in agreement. Gianna threw the ball to the far left of their backyard, to just the end of the grass, which to Wilfred seemed to go on forever. Wilfred ran to get the ball and brought it back as fast as he could. Good job, Wilfred, Gianna said, as she patted him on the head and took the wet, drool-covered ball from his mouth. Are you ready to fetch the ball again? She asked. Shaking with excitement, Wilfred barked in agreement. Here you go, Gianna said as she threw the ball farther this time, towards the right side of the backyard, where the edge of what used to be a small collection of trees was. Wilfred ran to get the ball, but when he got there, something caught his attention. He ignored the ball and started sniffing around, searching for the smell. Wilfred! What are you doing? called Gianna. He didn't hear her as he was completely focused on finding the smell. Oh, what is that smell? Oh boy, that smells so good. But wait, ball. No, the smell. I must find that smell, thought Wilfred. And then he found it. Someone had left something yucky and rotten at the back of their yard. And what did Wilfred do? He rolled in it, again and again and again. Oh, that rotten smell is so glorious, Wilfred thought. Wilfred, come, called Gianna. What was he rolling in? I hope it isn't something stinky, because if it is, Mom won't be happy. 
after he was satisfied with rolling around in the stinky, yucky, rotten stuff, Wilfred grabbed the ball and ran towards Gianna. Good boy, Gianna said, taking the ball from Wilfred's mouth. Oh, no. What's that all over you and... Oh, what is that awful smell? Oh, Wilfred, what did you get all over you? Gianna said as she plugged her nose with her fingers. Why isn't she throwing the ball? And why does she look so upset? Wilfred thought. She is so hard to understand. Okay, Wilfred, I think you need a bath. Wilfred knew that word as well, and it was not one of his favorite words. He didn't like baths very much, especially since they started using that flowery-smelling soap. With one hand plugging her nose and the other on Wilfred's collar, Gianna took him inside the house to get him clean. Gianna, what is that awful smell? Gianna's mother said as she walked towards her and Wilfred. Hi, Mom. Uh, he just got a little dirty, she said with her fingers over her nose. Nothing too serious. I'll just give him a bath. Nothing too serious? A bath? Heavens, he really stinks, Gianna. He can't come in through the house like that. I think you best give him a bath in the tub in the laundry room said her mom, starting to sound upset. Okay, mom. Why are they looking at me like that? The looks on their faces are so strange. Have they gone crazy? Can't they just let me go so I can roll around on the couch? I want this smell over everything so that I will never forget it, Wilfred thought. Okay, Wilfred. Let's go to the laundry room. Gianna took Wilfred around the corner to the laundry room where there was a load of laundry swishing around in the front loading washer. Why are we here? Wilfred thought. Then, as he got closer to the washing machine, he saw something spinning around and around in the washer. No, no, it can't be. It is. It's a dog in that washer. And and they want to put me in there too? No. No way. No way am I going to go in there. And Wilfred quickly ran out of the laundry room in a panic, into the living room, and hid under the couch. Gianna, her mother called, Wilfred ran out into the living room and is now under the couch. Oh, my, the stink and my clean floors, Gianna's mother cried. I don't know why he ran, Mom. I mean, it's like something scared him. He doesn't like baths much, but he's never acted like this, Gianna said, looking a bit puzzled. Oh... Gianna's mom said as she walked into the laundry room. I think I know what might have happened. That Wilfred sure is smart, Gianna's mother said as she started to laugh. What, mom? Gianna said as she noticed what her mother was looking at. Mom, that's not funny. Wilfred probably thinks that that stuffed dog is a real dog just like him and that we are going to put him in the washing machine too. You're right. It's not that funny. But your dog certainly is smart, her mom said, still laughing. He may never want to take a bath again. And soon, all my friends will start calling him Wilfred the Stinky Dog, Gianna said with a sigh. I'm sure we can convince him to have a bath somehow, her mother said. I will never go in that room again, no way, and no more baths for me, and no matter what they say or do, I will not take a bath, Wilfred thought to himself. Wilfred, come, I have your ball, Gianna called. Ball? No, it must be a trick. I'm going to stay put, 
Wilfred said to himself. Gianna got down on her hands and knees and said, Come on, Wilfred, come on out. It wasn't a real dog in the washer, silly. It was my old stuffed toy dog that you drooled all over. Mom just wanted to make it clean and less stinky. Wilfred did not move. Try getting him a treat, her mother said. Gianna went and got Wilfred a treat to try to convince him to come out from under the couch, which was getting stinkier and stinkier by the minute. Here, Wilfred, here's your favorite treat. Come on out, she said, holding the treat in front of Wilfred at the edge of the couch. Treat? Wilfred knew that word, too. He started to drool. He wanted the treat, but just as he was about to come out, he thought, it's a trick, must not eat the treat, and he stayed under the couch. Gianna, the whole house smells so terrible. It might take months to get the smell out of the house, Gianna's mother said, sad that her house was smelling like something yucky, rotten, and stinky. It will disappear, Mom. Let's just let Wilfred rest for a while. Maybe he will come out later. Gianna's mother started going around the house, opening all the windows and spraying air freshener as she went. About an hour passed and Gianna was still sitting by the couch, waiting for Wilfred to come out. She was so hungry so she brought over a bag of crackers and started eating a few as a snack. It's that crinkle, crinkle sound. Food, Wilfred thought, as he started drooling and his stomach started growling. He made a slight whimpering sound. Are you hungry, Wilfred? Gianna asked. Would you like some crackers, she said, as she was holding a handful of crackers close to where he was laying under the couch. Look, I promise that I won't take you into the laundry room. I'll take you upstairs and bathe you in our tub. You have nothing to be scared about. It took a few minutes, but Wilfred slowly came out from under the couch, drooling as he came, and ate the crackers from Gianna's hand. That's a good boy. You have nothing to worry about, Gianna said, as she petted his head and gave him a big hug. P.U. I think you both better have a bath, Gianna's mother said with a laugh. So they did. And that's the end of this story. Good night. Sleep tight.